Hey, what's one thing that you and I have both been taught for years? Almost every sales professional, mentor, expert that you've ever heard from. They're like, hey, don't interrupt the prospect when they're talking. And I'm a firm believer in this, except if what they're going to say is going to affect the sale. What do I mean by that? When someone thinks something, that's one thing. If they think, hey, I don't have time for this, but when they say it, they believe it more than if they just thought it. So when they speak it into existence, they believe it more. Maybe they're more stubborn about it. They start to believe what they're saying. If I think that that's about to come out of their mouth, or if I know for sure that's what's about to come out of their mouth, because you gotta be a step ahead, then I will interrupt and say, hey John, I realize you don't have much time. I know you're gonna be doing it this, this at some point in the future anyway. Let's take time out of the equation. Let's do it quickly. I got a couple seconds to go ahead and handle this for you. I'm assuming you'd like to do that. What's your full legal name? I'll be quick. Rather than saying, hey, rather, rather than letting them say, hey, I don't have time for this or I don't have the money, because when they speak it, it's tougher to overcome their objection when they speak it versus just when they think it. So yeah, I don't like to interrupt people. And I believe that you have to ask open-ended questions. Get them talking more than you. When they talk more than you, you make the sale. So I'm a huge believer in that. But if they're about to say something negative that's going to impact the sale, it's okay to interrupt them and to jump as long as you are quick, confident, you know what you're gonna say, you're assumptive, and that you finish with some type of ask or a close or a transition into what you want. Because if you just say something but you don't transition in, into what you want or you don't ask a question or you don't close, then they're just gonna actually state what they're thinking because you didn't spin their mind or shift the conversation from what they were about to say to them responding to you. It's psychology of sales, it puts you back in control and they've never actually stated what they were thinking. This is the best way to handle something when you know you're about to get an objection that's going to affect the sale. Don't let it happen because if they say it, they're more likely to believe it than if they just 